the Bingo Initiative is a an African CDC, Africa Union, uh, GIZ, uh, and Trace partnership that seeks to try and chart and create a platform uh, for young people uh, post-COVID in terms of how we interact. I think we all know what happened in 2020 with the post uh, with the COVID pandemic. Uh, how that affected our lives. And I think across the continent, with Kenya not being any exception. This Bingo Initiative sets a forum where we can have those discussions, where we can encourage each other uh, to get vaccinated. Because unlike before, uh, for us to go back to our normal, uh, it's important that we get vaccinated. And these things are not uh, just cliche things we, we talk about. I think. Uh, it's, it's the same way we had with things like polio. I think for us, COVID is real. Uh, let's ensure we carry the message. I look forward to all of us uh, being vaccination uh, uh, ambassadors across our spheres of influence in our communities. Uh, I look forward to us having interactions and discussions around what COVID was, how uh, vaccination has helped us to go back to normal. And please, uh, as artists uh, and as leaders in our community, uh, I look forward to those engagements and I look forward to those discussions and I look forward to how we can uplift and encourage the young people seated in this room uh, to ensure we're getting vaccinated, but also more importantly, how we pass on that message. The first month was okay, because mm. we thought it would only be like two, three weeks. And then when, it, when reality hit is when it's like, okay, maybe this might be the end of our careers as we know them. Mm -hmm. So it was a bit tough adjusting. Then now maybe month three is when we started to see the different ways we can still stay active mm -hmm. online. It started to look a bit scary. Shows were closing, all of the different things that we were supposed to be doing. All of those things were getting canceled. Everyone that was doing tours was canceling their tours. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like, okay, now we need to be responsible adults for the world and make the right choices. I remember in 2020, I was in the gym. I was in the gym, I was in the gym, I was in the gym. I was in the gym, I was in the from the first minute, that was the three months. I was in the gym, I was in the gym. So I was relaxed, I was in the gym, I was in the situation. I just want to see how, how things are going to flow. Uh, because hali was in the gym, I was in the Kwangu, I would say, because so we, we made a, if you know what I'm talking about, we made good amount of money. And then uh, to now on our first month, it happens. Uh, second month, uh, third month, month rather, uh, fourth. By the time we were going to figure out what we were going to do, we were going to figure out what we Songs na WhatsApp na nzema big up team Jabi di uko ivo injawa kwa na buy by the so uh, like ilikuwa na bidi mazetu kwa creative. Uh, for me, I had so many tours that I had to cancel. I remember the first one month I was I, every day I was posting cancelled, postponed, cancelled, cancelled, cancelled. But it's important that your life should not stop simply because you didn't get a vaccination, All right? At least you're able to go do your shows, you're able to go do your Shugulis, Palace, Yaya, Kakamega, Bungoma, Migori. You're able to wake up in the morning and literally go for your normal Shugulis simply because you have been vaccinated. Right? Because it was just not about us not being able to go to the studio or go to the office. It was about what you do best being affected. 